Hi everybody, it has been a while. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to review the Dagny Dover Dakota backpack in size large. Um, I had watched a lot of helpful videos when I was trying to decide on this bag, but I noticed that most of the ones that I watched at least were using them as diaper bags. So I thought it would be a fun idea to share with you how I pack for a cafe or work out on the go. This sucker is chuck full of everything that I would need to go to a cafe and work for the day. My dad's been sick. I've been going back and forth to hospitals a lot, lots of time in waiting rooms and cafeterias. I just felt like I needed a bag that was not a tote bag. I wanted to be able to put everything inside, zip it up and be on my way. And I wanted it to be light. So if that that sounds good to you stick around I'm gonna get into all the details give you prices and then let you know in the end the pros and cons will show you everything that's in this bag I've been on the hunt for a lightweight bag that I can store all my work stuff in if you are familiar with my channel or you've been here before you know that I'm a big fan of luxury handbags but I feel like recently maybe in the past six months I haven't been reaching for them quite as much as I used to last year I purchased the Louis Vuitton on the go in black on prompt leather and it is a dream bag it's beautiful but it's big and I find that I've been grabbing for it more when I'm doing like an overnight and putting clothes in there as opposed to using it for a work bag as I've been spending a little bit more time on the go lately and not working from home quite as much as I typically do I've noticed that my bags are getting really heavy so I kind of set out on a mission to find two things a lightweight bag and a backpack I have a lot of tote bags that I really love but I found that they were all kind of heavy when I really packed them in. So this bag is the Dagny Dover Dakota Neoprene Backpack. And this is the color Dune. And this is the large size. So this retails for $215. Um, I did buy a little tech pouch inside. And if you go to the Dagny Dover website, they will offer 15% off what they call kits and it will include the backpack and some smaller accessories. So I got the Arlo Tech Kit in size large. I got 15% off, so in total this costs $242.25. So if you go from the back here, it's about 17 and a half inches in height. And then if I go from side to side, we're looking at about 11 and a half, 12 inches. And then the width of this, now remember this is chuck full, you know, all in maybe like seven or eight inches, but it squeezes up pretty nicely. One of the features I also love about this bag, and I think this is specific to some of the newer models, is it has this slip-on section right here um, that can go onto your luggage. One of the reviews I watched said how nice it would have been if they did maybe a zipper across the bottom so that you could also use it as a back storage and then just maybe unzip it if you're traveling. And I thought that was such a great idea. Um, but I know this will come in handy when I am traveling. The straps are super cushiony, very, very comfortable, which was important for me. I was going for comfort, lightweight, and usability for this. So let's dig right in. First off, this is my cell phone, and there is a pocket right up here that's really nice where you can just slide your phone in. And I have the Max phone. I think mine is like an, a 12 Max, so it fits right in there. The only issue I have is my phone is silicon, so it, it kind of sticks to everything on the way, but size-wise, it's perfect. I love this color Dune so much. It's nice and neutral. It's kind of like a kind of like a cocoa mauve -y color. I think it's so pretty. We'll start with the front pocket. This is really nice for easy access. In this pocket, I just have a little ink journal that I carry with me just to do some like artsy things if I'm testing out some new ink. And then I have my mask in here. I have some antibacteria lotion that I can pop on in here. And that's all, that's all I have in the front. I could also fit my phone in the front here if I wanted to use that instead of this pocket up here. And actually for me, this is a little bit more practical because it does stick up here. Also in this front pocket, there are sections for pens. You know you're gonna see some pens in this haul, but I don't keep my pens up here. I keep them in a case inside. And then moving to this section of the bag, which I really love this. I love how the front flap just kind of comes down. These are two pockets that I think are super underrated. I always keep like a granola bar in here. Typically Quest bars are my bar of choice, but we're down to the Nature Valley. 
And it's just a really easy zip pocket right here. You could also put your phone in this pocket. You could put wet wipes if you're a mom. I also have mints right here that I stuck in here. Um, I love to bring honey crisp apples with me wherever I go, so that's that. This is what I've been using more or less for my handbag lately, and this is just the Lululemon belt bag. So in here, I travel very lightly in here. I have like some Carmex. <laughs> I have a Starbucks gift card for $15 because you never know. And then I just have my little card case that has my ID, my credit cards. And I've been using this more and more instead of wallets and it's very easy to move around. And really, if I didn't want to take anything in here, I could just keep this to the side. This could zip right in here or I could zip it in the front, but I tend to carry my belt bag with me in case I go in anywhere thrifting or shopping, then that way I can throw my money, my phone, and any little incidentals, and then have this and leave the big bag in the car if I need to. So moving on here, one of the things that I debated on when I got this was where I was going to put my water bottle. This is an exclusive color from Tilly's and I just love it so much and I thought it went really great with the Dune. It's a 40 ounce size so it's a real biggie and I can't really fit it on the side pocket here. There's this great side pocket and it has an elastic that stretches out. So I could force it and get this to go around here. Let me see. But as a practical matter, I mean, I guess if I had to, that would work and the colors coordinate so nicely. But for me, it's just easier. I think also because I have this little silicone base on the bottom, again, it gets very sticky. So I just decided to put it inside the bag, but this does take up a fair amount of room but I love that water bottle. And I was so excited that it matched my backpack. So I was kind of disappointed that it wouldn't go on the outside. They had another backpack that was more square at the top and there was a section inside for a water bottle. I almost got that bag, but I opted for this. I do like the shape of this better. It's a little bit more compact, but I wish that this water bottle would fit in here. But a normal size water bottle, even a 30 ounce water bottle, without the little silicone, I think would go really easy on each side. There's also a pocket on this side. So you can definitely, I don't have anything in these pockets right now. I'm underutilizing them. Um, but I just like to know everything's inside my bag and safe. So we push down this section here and all of these backpacks come with a little neoprene pouch inside. And then here I just have some tissues, some Burt's Bees chapstick, and that's about it. You could also put your hand sanitizer in here, any little things, and this is attached inside the bag. Also in here, and this I actually love because I am notorious for losing my keys. It has this little clip for your keys on an elastic, and it's attached right over here on the side, so wherever my keys are in my bag, I just reach for the elastic and my keys come right out, which I love this feature because I have some pretty clunky keys, but because this is a large bag, I feel like my stuff would just get lost in the bottom. So inside, I just have some notebooks. These are my morning pages. You know, um, I'm big into journaling and planning, and I just write in these uh, Loistrom notebooks every day. Um, there's this one that I use for my morning pages. This one is just for general notes. They're little hardback books, but they're great to just have with me <laughs> at all times. So I usually will bring this one, um, but if I'm heading out and I've already written my morning pages for the day, this one would stay home and then I would opt for this one, which is really just like kind of brain dump, note taking, scribbling, ink samples. This is just to have with me because I always have fountain pens on hand and I'm always like playing around with pens and writing and I just like to have that option. Um, I really like this little elastic right here, but I guess we'll get to that in a second. I'll show you what's inside here. This is my traveler's notebook. I've been keeping a notebook for my dad with all of his appointments. Sometimes at appointments, I would do like little sketches here and there. Um, so I take this with me, but mostly just to my dad's appointments right now. Um, and then here is the tech bag. We'll go through this in a second, but this, you could get this in about half the size or in this size. And I opted for this larger size because I have a fair amount of tech that I travel with. And this is about eight inches, maybe eight and a half inches by five inches. So inside here, you can see that this whole section is kind of strapped in and I really like that. This is just a little Velcro strap so you can put anything here. I have this um, rickshaw 
pen. I think this is their Sakura line. And this is where I keep some of my fountain pens on the go. It has this really beautiful, soft, cushiony pillow liner. Um, and I typically don't take with me any of my super expensive fountain pens. So I have like an entry level Kaweco fountain pen. I have a Twisby Eco with me, probably the priciest one that I have, but this is like one of my favorite pens is my Vanishing Point by Pilot. I use this in my planner all the time. So I just take this and I roll it up and then it fits right in here. I could also toss it in straight down, but I like that it's right here. I can see it as soon as I open my bag. This is one of my favorite pen cases. This is made by Superior Labor, and I love this one, but it's leather, it's a little bit heavier. It doesn't protect the pens as much as this. Um, so I tend to leave this more at home on my desk and I'll just put like a few pens here, or if I'm going somewhere like this fits really nicely. And, Sorry, this fits in this bag really nicely. So I kind of go between these two when I'm on the go. But in this particular case, I packed this here. In here is my Hobonichi planner, and that is stored inside of a Midori pebbled leather case. I have the Hobonichi Cousin for 2023. And this is my everyday planner. When I travel, I like to take this with me. If I wanted to lighten the load a little bit, I could always take this out of the leather case and make, make things a little bit lighter. Um, but I do like the protection and the color of this, and it's just like a nice squishy leather. I have one of my Sailor um, Pro Gear Slim fountain pens in here from the Shikiori series right in here, but that fits in there as well. Oh, also, because I am now getting blind as the days go by, I have, I just got these. I have them all over my house. On Am Amazon sells these readers for $20 for like a pair package of six of them. And I have these like little Oprah, like chunky ones and I absolutely love them. So I carry them with me around the house, everywhere I go. So I have to keep one in the bag so that when I'm doing some editing or writing, I keep this right in here. So that really fit a lot. We have my planner, my traveler's notebook, my Loistrom notebook. If you're a student, you know, you could carry your textbooks. I have my Lululemon belt bag. I also have my readers. I had my pen case, my keys, and then the pouch that comes inside and my water bottle and an apple. And that all fit inside here. And of course, the main event would be my laptop, but that is a separate entrance. So right back here is another zipper. Here's that little section for your phone. You could also, this goes in pretty deep. I mean, that goes past my wrist. You could put a lot of little things in there. You could put your keys in here as well. It's got a really nice sturdy zipper, which I really appreciate. And then back here, I have my MacBook Pro. This is just a little, it's called fish skin, and it's just like a sticker that basically goes on to the front and back of the computer. Um, this is a 14 inch MacBook Pro. But what I will say is there is a ton of space in here. I was debating between the medium size and the large size, and I went with the large because I just tend to like bigger bags. But in all reality, this bag does get pretty heavy. And I had plenty of space in the back here. I mean, I probably have like another three or four inches up here. And width wise, this is kind of swimming in the back here. But it's nice and secure and I know it's gonna be safe. Alternately, if I wanted to save some space in the front, I could always put more of my notebooks back here with my laptop and then that would really work and that would free up space in the front. But that is where I keep my laptop. My head's still cut off a little bit, but I want to focus more on this than on me. This is a little tech bag, and this was something I really wanted and needed. This is really nice. It feels like a little brick. It's kind of heavy right now. And again, there's more space in here. That There are more little compartments than I'm even using. Um, but there's this little mesh front here, a little hook right here if you wanted to hook keys or something on here. I'm going to show you the inside and how I'm using it. And I think this would be pretty typical for things that I would bring with me if I was going to journal or edit or do some work on my laptop. This is a Canon Ivy. This is really cute. Um, I use this for journaling. This is new to me. I gave my older version of the Canon Ivy. It's a printer 
to my daughter because she's studying abroad and I thought she would really like a little um, thing because she has her traveler's notebook with her in Spain. So this is new to me. This is the newer uh, Canon Ivy, but you can print little images right from your phone and it connects. There's a little uh, adapter here, a little cord, I should say. It prints out photos right from your phone and they're on sticker sheets and then you can put the stickers right into your planner. So it's really fun when you're on the go. So sometimes if I go to a cafe, I like to work on that stuff. This is the little uh, base brick adapter plug-in. Why, why am I forgetting my words right now? That goes into the wall for my MacBook Pro, my charger. And then I have the cord all wrapped up right in here, which is great. Also, when I'm on the go, I'm not a huge AirPods person, but if I'm editing a video and I'm in a cafe, nobody wants to hear me chattering. So I always bring my AirPods so that I can do my editing when I'm on the go or do any sort of work. Um, another thing that I would normally bring with me, but it's actually in my camera right now, is my SD card. I usually like to pack my SD card in here because then I can pop it into my computer again if I'm doing some editing for my video. But this was something that is really a practical thing for me. Whenever I am on the go, I always need to bring my chargers with me. Um, phone charger would also go in here. The charger for my Canon Ivy. Um, and then there's a little pouch back here. So you could also put, like if I just wanted to bring some regular pens with me, you could pop some pens in here if you wanted to. They could just slide in the back. Um, and then there's still, a, there's still a decent amount of space as I close this up. The reason that I didn't get the smaller brick was because I knew that these two items I wanted to bring with me when I was on the go, and I wasn't sure if this would be too thick in addition to also having my AirPods and then the necessary cords that went with this. So I opted for this larger one, and I'm really happy that I did. You know, you can always pack less in here. I think I read on the website that the backpack itself is 2.6 pounds, and this, with everything that I have in it, is two pounds. So this can get pretty heavy. All in with my laptop, the three journals, this and all of the accessories, this kind of heavyweight water bottle, it was 16.7 pounds when I weighed it before I started the video. Um, so obviously you can adjust. I, I tend to carry a lot of heavy things between books and laptops and heavy water bottles in all of the accessories that go. If I'm rushing out the door and I don't wanna like overpack, I'll probably just bring my planner um, or maybe just a notebook, one or the other, uh, maybe just the charger for my laptop, my laptop, and then my water bottle and a couple pens. Um, I really packed this in because I wanted to show you just how much you could get in this bag. I think that this bag is a great choice for anybody who is on the go, students, busy moms, or if you're on the go with work like I am lately, I just think it's a great alternative to a heavy leather tote bag. And again, I'm not sure that you would need the large unless you really want to pack it in. I tend to fill what I have. So if I have a smaller bag, <laughs> I fill it to the rim. If I have a big bag, I fill that too. I've been using this for a couple weeks now and throwing it in my car. I haven't noticed any marks on it. It does have great storage here. Oh, sorry, my little scale is beeping. It does also have great storage on the sides as well. It comes in a variety of colors. It also comes in a small size, which is really for me just wasn't practical at all. I was wavering between the medium and the large. I think I could have gotten away with the medium, but I, but I think I'm happy I got the large. But I think in terms of how much heavier it would be if this was a leather bag with a leather case inside, and I'm really glad that I opted for this. I'm sorry that I'm like crouched down through half of this video. All right, that's better. My overall impressions, I give this bag like a nine out of 10. I really enjoy it. It's been a change for me because I've been a big tote girl for so long. I wanted something that I could put everything inside, zip it up, feel like everything has a place without being overly cramped. I wanted something that was really nice quality, but I wasn't willing to pay like luxury handbag prices for a backpack. I want something that I could use if I'm going overnight somewhere, if I'm going to the beach, if I'm going to a cafe. Like this is really a multi-purpose bag and I think the quality is great so I'm hoping that it lasts a good long time for me. On my main channel which is called Lori's Boston Found where I share all of my adventures in thrifting, I recently found a Dagny Dover like a small, it almost looked like a little lunchbox but it was missing 
the strap and I think in the end it sold around like the $38, $40 range but there was so much attention and people definitely like this brand. I think I thrifted it for $4. It just wasn't my color and it wasn't what I was in the market for at the time. Otherwise, I would have considered keeping it. But certainly if you ever find Dagny Dover, if you're out thrifting, consider it a good score. Um, I love, love this color Dune. This is one of the things that really drew me to this. I wanted something that was neutral, but that wasn't black or tan. And I think when I got this from Tilly's, I really love this and it encourages me to drink all the water that I need to drink. I loved this color combination. So when I saw that the Dune went so well with it, I just knew that that was the color I had to have. They have like an olive green that is really nice too. And of course black, but I have way too much black. And I also wanted something that would go nicely with black because I have so many little black accessories. Even my little um, pen case, I was thinking of my bag when I ordered it because the little branches on the pen case, I thought kind of complemented this. Rickshaw pens, if you're familiar with the fountain pen community, rickshaw bags and pen cases are really nice, but they can be extremely like busy and loud. And it just, I couldn't find one that was really my style. Um, so I thought this went really nicely with the bag. I am finally getting around to edit this and I wanted to mention a couple things that I realized I forgot. Dagny Dover always sends these beautiful bags with their items. I think this bag came with the little accessory pouch, the little tech pouch, and this really large bag came with the backpack. And if I show you the size of it, it's huge. I think this is fantastic for anybody who might wanna use this as a bag for the gym. You can put workout clothes in here. I mean, I could put a load of laundry in this bag, but it's a really nice little cinch bag. Also comes with this that can be tossed inside. So extra protection, um, again, for gym clothes or any little extras that you wanna throw in the bag. It's a little deeper shade of the dune. But I also wanted to mention, and I didn't even see this until I was editing my video, that there's this little side zipper right here, this little secret compartment. And this goes to about halfway. Like I can fit my, almost my whole hand in there. I would say it goes to about here. This is another great option if you wanna throw your keys in here or your phone or a little extra cash or anything you need access to um, that you may not wanna put in the large part. But. I filmed this first video on Super Bowl Sunday. It's been a couple weeks now, and I'm actually really loving this more and more every day. The zippers are so sturdy. So just wanted to add that little tidbit in here. Um, that's all. But let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, I have been a little inconsistent over here. I do upload twice a week on my main channel, which is about thrifting. But my next video, I think, is going to be my entire fountain pen collection, which I've been really looking forward to sharing with you. Again, this is the Dakota Backpack by Dagny Dover. This is the size large, and it is in the color Dune. I will link as many of the things that I shared with you today as I can in the description if you want to check anything out. Again, I did receive 15% off the price because I bought a kit with the two, and I think you could also get the kit for medium size as well and small. They offered it in all the different sizes. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am off to my mom and dad's to watch the Super Bowl. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.